This is a guide to install the official Caspa KDX wallet. In this video, we're going to be installing it on a Windows 11 PC, but there's also a version available for Mac OS and Linux. The process will be very similar. If you want me to make a guide for one of those, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so here we are at the caspa.org website. I'm going to go over to resources and inside resources, you can see that you have multiple options. You have the web wallet, which I've already done. And this time what we're going to be doing is the desktop wallet. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So that was some screenshots of what the wallet looks like. The download options, you have one for Linux, you have one for Apple, and then you have one for Windows. This is the 64-bit version. That's the one I'm going to be using. So I'll have that selected and then click on the download button right over here. It's going to go ahead and download the wallet. And once that's complete, we can click on that to execute it. I'm just going to minimize my window over here and we'll continue with the installation. All right. So we get a user account control over here. We can just click on yes and we'll proceed with the installation. I'm going to be using English. We'll click on okay. And the default folder will be fine for me and a uh, shortcut on my desktop. Sure. Why not? And we're going to go ahead and install it. Okay. Installation is now complete. You can see that we have the option to launch immediately. It's checked. So we'll leave that selected, click on finish, and it should launch the wallet for us. All right. So we get a welcome screen right over here. Let uh, the latest version that we're using right now is 2.12.3. We're going to set the X over here in the corner. The only thing you really want to do is go over here to the wallet settings. So go ahead and click on new wallet and I'm going to type in a password here. Okay. And now my password is in here. I can go ahead and click on next and it's going to give me a recovery seed. So I'm going to go ahead and write this and put this in a secure location. Okay. And once you have the passphrase recorded, go ahead and click on next. And now it's going to ask what the ninth word is. So if you have everything written down, you should be able to quickly refer to that. And then it's going to want to know the 12th word and the first word. All right. So success. This is complete. We can go ahead and click on done. And now we have our wallet address. So here it is. It just popped up. This is the wallet address that you can use for your miner. If you're mining Caspa, you just have to click on copy and then you can paste it into uh, your miner. And uh, you can generate new wallets if that's what you're looking for. All the transactions as you get paid out will get listed over here. So if you're mining, it really depends on the pool threshold when you get paid out. So you have to check that out if you're not getting paid. Uh, that is the first place you want to look to see where your payments are. So this is where you can send and receive Caspa when it's in your wallet. If you are in a send, you just have to click on the send button right over here where you can put in the wallet address and the amount. And then if you go over here over to the settings, you have some personalized settings over here where you can change the theme into dark theme if that's what you prefer. And uh, you can also turn on and off the advanced settings and process controls right over here by checking this option. If you don't know what you're doing there, I don't recommend uh, playing around. Uh, definitely look up the reference guide if that's what you want to do. And then you have the option over here to delete your data folder and then you have the re-index option. So if you go over here into the main dashboard, we're up and running. We have the KDX Caspa wallet installed on a Windows 11 PC. Hope you found this guide useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.